Donald Trump hosted college football's Clemson Tigers at the White House last week for winning the national championship. Trump served the athletes a smorgasbord of fast food items, including burgers from Wendy's and McDonald's. The president said he paid for the food himself because the White House chefs were furloughed due to the government shutdown. The president joins me now. Good evening, Mr. President. Good evening. Mr. President, why did you order in all of the fast food? These are great American dishes, tremendous foods made by tremendous American businessmen like Ronald McDonald, the Burger King, and Wendy. Great businessmen, but no Taco Bell, no hable Taco Bell. These young men are high-performance athletes. How did they react to the junk food? These are big guys, huge guys, incredible guys. They ate all the food, every bite. They're very large people. They ate all the burgers. <laughs> all the fries. The burgers and the fries. In a statement on the day of the feast, you said that the White House bought 300 hamburgers for the event. After the dinner, you said you bought 1,000 burgers. There are 130 coaches and players on the Clemson team. If you ordered 1,000 burgers, that would mean that each player ate seven burgers. That seems hard to believe. It's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> These are high-performance eaters and high-performance players, and I congratulate them on their win and also on their incredible burger eating and nugget eating. They ate so many nuggets. Each boy ate 100 nuggets, <laughs> which is so good for our nugget farmers. It really is. <laughs> But, Mr. President, that is impossible. You're exaggerating the number of burgers eaten in the same way you'd exaggerate the size of your inauguration crowd or the trade deficit. You've been caught in an absurd lie. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> President Donald Trump, good evening. <laughs>